Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more, well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Kathy was standing right where she was going to marry a man she hadn't even met. The day before, she'd cried without being able to do anything about it. She was about to walk through the door, but what she saw made her heart pound even harder. As she says that phrase, nothing is free in life since everything has a price and we must pay it. Friends, this story happened in China. Kathy was a very pretty, dedicated, and studious girl. But life was not very easy for her since from a very young age she suffered a heartbreaking loss. Her mother passed away, leaving her only four years old, and her father was left a widower, and later he remarried another woman, who was very good to her. But later the poor girl received terrible news. Her father had suffered an accident, and no one was present to help him, and he passed away. The girl was left in charge of her stepmother. Luckily, Kathy's father had left a big house and some money for the girl. But soon she would know the true suffering. The stepmother began to act very differently. She was no longer the same caring and understanding mother. Over time, they found a new partner, and together they spent the girl's money. Kathy grew up, and her stepmother treated her like a servant. The girl had to take care of the household chores, and she took care of some siblings who were not even hers. But the girl learned to love them. Actually, she cared for them because her parents weren't responsible. When Kathy's father's money ran out, the couple forced the girl to work selling candy on the city streets. She dedicated herself to selling them, and all the money she earned had to be given to the couple, who were waiting for her at home doing absolutely nothing, living a very, very easy life. The girl wanted to study, but it was very difficult to do so, as so she could not even afford to buy school supplies. So she dropped out of her school for work. Kathy grew up and became a noble girl. She could have escaped from her, but she was very afraid of her stepbrothers, for she had no one to take care of them, and she'd sworn to protect them. One day, the youngest fell ill. Kathy didn't have enough money to take them to the hospital. In the place where they lived, it was not easy to get a job, but she still went out to find one. The girl managed to get a job in a cafeteria, but the money was not enough. One day, like any other, the girl was at her work when her stepfather called her to ask for more money. And before she hung up, she informed him that she'd found her a husband, whom she would pay a lot of money to marry him. She told him that he was a good man, and above all, he came from a very comfortable family. The stepfather had come running to offer Kathy's hand, and the man gladly expected. This was a surprise to the girl, because if marriage had not crossed her mind, she didn't feel well and didn't want to marry. But soon she thought of her little brother sick with her, and she accepted the fate in order to save him. Perhaps in many countries, arranged marriage is a very rare situation, but in China, arranged marriages are very common. So many women marry without knowing their future husband, since the parents agree to give their daughters to the highest bidder. A week later, a fancy car arrived at Kathy's work. The owner of the place told the girl that a young man was looking for her. Kathy was surprised that her future husband had sent her driver to pick her up, since he didn't want her to work there anymore. Kathy recognized immediately, and all her companions were very surprised, since they'd never seen such a luxurious car. But she was not surprised. She got into the car, and the driver introduced himself. A lady, I see you very sad. I should be happy, because very soon her life will change for the better. She just attended and asked, Hey, what's he like? He's a good man, replied the driver, but I can't say more. He must know you. When she got home, the girl realized that everyone was better dressed, and even her little brothers had new school supplies, and the youngest was ill. He had his medicine and a nurse who took care of him. She was sad, but at the same time happy, since her little brothers would not have any more needs. The man who would marry her was seeing to it that it was so. My dear daughter, said the stepmother, soon you will marry a very good man. He's giving a lot for us. If he were not for you, we would not have all this. We love you. Days later, the luxurious car returned, and with it the driver who came to look for her to buy her wedding dress. The girl was very astonished. She took her to the most expensive places of all, but the girl, she felt confused since she did not consider it necessary to spend so much money on a dress for her. Hey, hey, I can get it a lower price, she said. But the driver shook his head and told her that her boss had given orders, saying that she should have the best. 
The girl was not silent. Since that, the man had been very good to his family, so she chose the cheapest dress in the place. Finally, the wedding day arrived and the girl got ready as best she could, trying to hide the dark circles that made her cry so much. The car that he would pick her up and she got in without saying a word. That car would take her to the man she would spend her whole life with, a man she hadn't even seen. She didn't know life was very cruel. First, death from her parents. Now she would lose her freedom. On the way, the girl began to cry, and the driver, realizing this, asked her, Hey, hey, miss, why are you crying? I cry because I didn't want this. And if my parents had been alive, none of this would have happened. I could have left. But my little brothers are everything to me, and I never thought this would be the only option for them to be okay. I love them with all my heart, but I would have liked to marry a man of my choosing. The driver just nodded and continued on the path that would take her to the altar. Sometime later, the car stopped. Later on the road, there was an accident. The bride asked him to please inspire her, and she ran for help. A girl was at the scene, and Kathy ran to meet her. She got out of the rubble, and she didn't mind that her luxurious dress got stained. Immediately, she asked the driver for help and was taken to the nearest hospital. She didn't want that girl to suffer the same fate as her father. When they learned that she would be fine, the girl left the hospital worried and asked the driver to take her immediately to the wedding. Upon arrival, she got out of the car and hurried inside. When the guests saw her, they were surprised because her dress was stained. Hey, what happened to you? asked one of the guests. Where's the man who you marry? Young Kathy asked, very worried. Girl, he's right behind you. Kathy turned around, surprised in the search for her future husband, and her surprise was very great when she realized that she had already met him because the boyfriend was the same as the driver, the one who approached her and said, Kathy, I'm very sorry that you've had to go through all this, but when your stepfather approached me with a photo of you, you seemed like a very beautiful woman, and I couldn't stop thinking about you. But before I married you, I wanted to know what you were really like, and after witnessing everything you did so that your little brothers were well, and how those two people made you suffer, who had to take care of and save that girl, you didn't mind ruining your expensive dress. Well, I'll be lucky that you are my friend and you will decide if you want to marry me. You really are free. But what about the money we had agreed to? The stepfather said as he was at the scene. There's no wedding. There's no money. And Kathy will not be alone again. And I will put a lawyer who will help her to obtain custody of her stepbrothers since you were never interested in them. And by the way, go thinking and moving since that house belongs to her because it belongs to her parents. Tears fell down Kathy's cheeks. She couldn't believe this was happening. Over time, she and that mysterious man got to know each other and could not be without each other. They married, and together they recovered the house of the girl's parents and the custody of her two stepbrothers, who were still very young. Friends, this story leaves us a great lesson. If you do something good today, fate will reward you. But if you do something wrong, don't doubt that you'll also pay for it. If you like this story, share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.